What's up guys, welcome to another video on Gamer Danger. Um today uh this will be not any game videos, so uh a couple of days ago I finished the Quran and that is like basically people read the Quran sometimes people like like people who are like Muslim which I am uh, and sometimes people that aren't Muslim that becoming Muslim can read it. So today I am going to tell you the story of the Dajjal. So let's get straight into it. Okay. From the beginning, there was Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He had a companion, and I'm going to tell you how he met the Dajjal. So this was so, so, so long ago. So, um, he went, he went to the Dajjal Island where, um, he, the Dajjal is, for him, is home. So the companion talked to the Dajjal and the Dajjal, no, yeah, so the Dajjal said, Listen to the Muslim neighborhood, and then he went off back. So, what really happened? So, as you know, no one knows where the Dajjal is because Allah hid him, like put him in a cage or something. But no one knows. He like he's like gone, but he is still out there. No one knows, but any time, like. He could come out. What would happen if, like, say the battle was going, like, in a few months, like, one million years or something. So what would happen in the battle? So I'm going to tell you guys what would happen. So it would start off with the Dajjal only. He would have powers. He would say, follow me, for I am your God. We will not believe him. We need to build our imam by reading Surah Kahf every Friday. So each Friday we build our imam. So imam is basically like strength, like braveness. And like, so you have the honor, like uh, you can do it. Like you're not scared to face him so that builds our imam okay so next what will happen if we say no he will have built an army so he has a power to do jinn like to to like tell the jinns and um the jinns are genies bad genies so jinns are basically um uh, ghosts uh, he will build an army that follow him and he will make the rain go like the whole world will be in chaos just like this picture I have up so um, this will be what happened so for those people like no, the Dajjal has like a power to make the rain and all like look like the end of the world is near. So, um, so, so we do not follow him, and he will build his own army of humans and jinns, genies, but bad ones. Okay. So, Isa alayhi salam will come down with a sword. He will be human when he comes down and slay the Dajjal. And then when the Dajjal was slain, everyone in the whole entire world will die and be down and like buried underground. And then Allah, which meaning God, will make another human out of clay 
and then everyone wakes up from the ground. For those, when they wake up from the ground, they come out of the ground, see light all around them. Whoever sees big, big, like big bright light, that means they have done lots of good things, lots, lots more than the bad things. And then whoever has like just a bright light, not really, really bright, but whoever has a bright white light, that means they done uh, good things over the bad things. But it's like not that much, but they will still go to heaven. And for those who are pit, uh, who just see pitch blackness and still in the ground, they they will not be able to move, and there will be kids poking them. Okay, so what will happen? We will go to um, Adam Adam Alaisanam, the first human, and then we will say, "Oh Adam, please." Tell Allah, meaning God, to start the day of the judgment. And then Adam, alayhi salam, first human, will say, No, 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 I will not do anything. Allah has, Allah is very angry. And I do not want to make him more angrier at me and more angry about the whole world. Because he has made a sin, which is a bad deed, by eating and listening to the snake and eating like that fruit from the tree. He has disobeyed Allah. So what would happen next? We would go to Isa alayhi salam, which is, yeah, just Isa alayhi salam, who is the one who slain the Dajjal. What will happen is Isa alayhi salam, we will ask him, please tell Allah, to make the day of judgment start. What we will do, no, no, what he will do, he would say, no, Allah is very angry right now, so we, we can't make him more angrier right now. And then we go to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we say, please can you tell Allah to make the day of judgment start? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, will go up to the throne where Allah sits. And it, and then he says, O oh Allah, please make the day of judgment start. And then Allah will say, O oh Muhammad, I will not fail you or depress you today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I will do what you ask. Just like, like not like, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was like in control of him and stuff Allah. Like just, he will grant, Allah will grant him that wish, uh, wish since Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah and the last prophet. Okay, so the day of judgment will start, start, sorry. So whoever, like they'll, oh sorry guys, I've forgotten one thing. So there will be two lakes and um, the Dajjal will say jump in to one of these two lakes and one he will say is hell, one will be heaven. He points on which one is hell and heaven. So what we need to do is jump into hell one but hear this out. So for him, the Dajjal himself, um, for him, uh, hell, um, hell is like. So let me just, like tell you. So Jannah, which is heaven, uh, is torture for him. So that would be hell, because he thinks. Sorry, guys. So he thinks um, he can trick us by saying hell, so no one can jump in that one. But we need jump in the hell one, so it's like, because he, you are, you guys already heard it. But uh, if we jump in heaven one, he will trick us by that, because hell is like 
a thing that he wants to see for the humans and other people in the world. But heaven is actually torture for him. Okay, anyway, to the day of judgment again. So, there will be um, people in like a straight line. So, there will... Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there as well. So, there will be... This is where hell and heaven comes in place. So, there will be two ways. And one of the angels... We will um, uh, count all your good deeds and bad deeds. Whoever has uh, most good deeds from the bad deeds will go into enter heaven. If it's equal deeds, we um, that is up to uh, like how good them deeds are. Like, like say um, I helped a dog and fed it water and food. And gave it a home, like, without, like, doing any torture to it and helping it. Um, that would be counting as, like, five, five deeds, five good deeds or something. But if the, the dog wasn't, like, hungry or any, like, if the dog, like, wasn't homeless or hungry, uh, that would count as, like, one deed. Or something so um same with the bad deed one <clears throat> so there would so there would be one gateway to heaven one gateway to hell so in hell it would be fire all over the place and it would be snakes biting on you infinitely without dying tarantulas like all your worst fears all the worst bugs biting onto you, torturing you, on bite, uh, and you're in like a volcano with lava, with acid, and then raining down, and the whole. So basically, this picture is what it would look like. All of that. Okay. So then, in heaven. It would look like this, but one million times. Sorry, guys. Um, it would be ten, like no, more than as you can think of. Better in heaven. So what it would be is like you can get any wish granted. For in this world is a test, and not infinite. But in the other world in heaven is infinite. But you cannot be silly like get. Ask for superpowers or something. Like, say I get unlimited money, you can do that, but you can't use it to flex on other people. But it wouldn't matter because um, they can get unlimited money as well. So, like, say you want a watch that's really expensive, you can get that. Say you want to own, like, a skyscraper, and um, you can get that. But, like, the whole point is that you should read Suraka to... Um, so you can save yourself and so basically Isa alayhi salam can only save you if your imam is strong and you've been reading Surah Kaf but for those um, for those who have been wrong I'll um, so they'll be in the hell part so um yeah so i hope you guys um enjoyed this video i hope you guys have learned it now how things work okay so um make sure you like and subscribe um and make sure you read your quran if you want to like if you're muslim or like you want to be a muslim oh yeah if you want to convert into a muslim all you have to do is this say this Ashhadu Allah ilaha illa wa ashhadu anna abduhu wa rasuluhu. So that which means um there is no god but Allah and like his messenger like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his is his last messenger and it kind of means like I will read the Quran 
which is a huge part of being a Muslim. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And bye.